nine years old, and I'm not going to tell you how old I am now, <laughs> but I'm closer, I'm over 30 years that I've been involved in football as a player and a coach, over 30 years. And so what I did was I wasn't able to do what Spencer did. I never played in the NFL. I got to play in college. But what I decided was I can't play football. There's got to be other things I can do so I can coach. I got into coaching. And that's why I get, I can, and I'm able to coach these guys, like you said, Noshan and Carell and Lawrence and Spence and Lance Ball and the guys that I have in my group. And I'm very, very lucky to do this. And the reason that I'm able to come and talk to you guys, I, I have the same job that mom and dad had. I do. I got the same <laughs> job that mom and dad had. You don't believe that. You don't believe that, but I'll tell you this. I get up every morning, I go to work, and I work hard. And I work hard. It doesn't matter what you work at. The important thing is that you work hard and you find something that you love to do. If you can find that, that's a great thing. Everyone loves playing football, right? All right? We, love, we all love playing football and being around football, right? Yeah! Okay. Do we love school the same way? Yeah! <laughs> okay, okay, hold on a second. So, here's, here's my question for you. Here's my question for you, okay? If you can come out here on the football field and work hard and practice and try hard to do what the coaches are telling you to do, right? That gives you the best chance to win your game tomorrow, right? Everybody with me? Yeah. That's no different than listening to your teachers when they're talking to you and trying to help you and teach you things that's going to help you learn how to read, do math better, science better, be better people, and learn more. It's the same thing. I'm a teacher. I just teach football. That's what I teach. But I'm a teacher. That's all. I, that's what I do. And what I look for in my players what I look for in the players that we have, in my players in particular, is a couple things. Spencer already mentioned one of them. Attitude. Attitude is, is very important. One of the most important things we look for. How you come to work, what you want to do. Everyone says they want to do the NFL, but not everybody can do it. Not everybody can do it. Okay? And the Little League team that I was on, that I played on when I was nine years old, there was one guy that played in the NFL, and there's one guy that ended up coaching in the NFL. That's me. The other guy played right here, too, for the Denver Broncos. His name, no, no, his name is Tyrone Braxton. He's a little bit older, so I don't know if you guys know that name, but Tyrone and I, all right? Now, the second thing we look for, second thing we look for is effort. What is effort? What's effort? It's how hard you try. How hard you try. How hard you try. And how hard your effort isn't going to be the same as your effort. And that's okay. And that's okay. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, guys, the most important thing is you try as hard as you can and you do your best. I'm not even going to look at any of the parents. But I'll bet if every one of you look at your parents right now and, I, and you tell them you did your absolute best, regardless of what that is, I bet they'll say they'll take that every time. And we're talking about in football, we're talking about in school, we're talking about being good people, being good people, treating people nice, being respectful of people, okay? All those things are important. Those things factor into playing in the NFL as much as anything else, as much as anything else, because we want good, who wants to be around bad people? Nobody does, all right? So attitude and effort, okay? And then the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is you have one of the most amazing things right here, and you don't even know. There's nothing like a team. There's nothing like a team. Because this game that you're playing here is the only true team sport. Baseball is a team sport, but one guy can hit great, another guy can hit bad, and they can still win, whatever. You can't play football without your teammates. The running back can't score without the offensive line. The quarterback can't throw it without the offensive line, right? Wide receivers can't catch it if the quarterback can't throw it to them. Running backs can't run if the wide receivers don't block, right? <laughs> defensive backs get more interceptions when the defensive line rushes, right? It's a team sport. It's the greatest thing there is. Enjoy it. Enjoy each other. Enjoy each other. Work hard for each other. Spencer talked about that. 
work hard for each other. It's a great thing. It's a great thing. One of the most important things because you're going to have teams your entire life. When you go to work at a job, you're going to have teams that you have to deal with. When you go uh, where, wherever it is, if you go to if you go to church, churches are like teams. You have people there that you'll be around. Your neighborhoods, whatever circle you live in or street you live on, that's like a little team, isn't it? People around there helping each other out. All those things work together. The team is critical. It's very important. You guys get a great experience right here. Your coaches have done a great job, I can already tell, because there's smiling faces here. Football's fun, isn't it? Yes. Huh? It's fun, and it should be. All right? So make sure it always stays fun. Keep working hard. Have a great attitude when you come out here. All right? And good luck to you guys this season, the rest of the season. And tomorrow's your last game? Yes. Tomorrow is? Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Well, good luck to you guys tomorrow. Okay? Good luck tomorrow. Thanks, guys, for having me.